Bye bye Denver. Hello Ohio. What's up everybody? It's your favorite hood healer. It's your favorite hood high priestess. It's your favorite motivational dominatrix. It's your favorite auntie, captain, goddess, pirate, king. Lady speech in the place to be and I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world and you're also sharing a little bit of time and a little bit of space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate you. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notifications bell so you can keep up with all of my shenanigans and happenings and goings ons and things. Now, let's hop into today's vlog, shall we? What's up, everybody? I'm currently sitting in front of Box Mountain in my house. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that as of right now, this part of the video, I am looking rough, crusty, and dusty. Okay, I acknowledge that. <laughs> but this is a vlog, so you're going to catch the realness. <laughs> That's what you're going to catch. Y'all know I clean up well. You know I look good. You know I can dress my behind off. Okay, you know I'm cute. You know I'm cute, but this is just the realness today, so <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing. Um, yeah, I'm currently sitting in front of Box Mountain. I have a lot to do today, so you guys are going to go with me. I have a couple errands to run. As you guys know, I am moving, so I'm going to be sharing with you just some random thoughts about that. Um, and you're going to go with me while I run two errands today. So I need to go secure my U-Haul truck. I was going to do that online, um, but... Um, I'm just gonna go in in person like there's a part of the process that I'm a little weirded out about um, So I'm just gonna go in and do everything in person um, And then I need to find a backpack. I need to find a, uh, a Backpack a sturdy backpack. So we're gonna go do that today. You're gonna do that today with me um, But yeah, I have a couple days before I leave Colorado. I have a couple of days before I leave Colorado So this is happening rather quickly. Um, I know I haven't really shared a lot about my process with you But please know that I've been about this process for a while. So from the outside uh, In it looks like I just made this decision rather quickly and we're moving quickly But just know on the inside um, I've been working around this decision for a while so, yeah, I'm feeling all the way good. It's so crazy feeling, seeing this apartment getting packed up. It's so crazy. As you saw, there's a bunch of bins. I am, at this moment of recording the video, I'm about 80% packed up in this house. I have just little things to do now. Um, the most major thing I have to pack up is my spirit room. And the reason why that's, that's like a third of the way packed up. Uh, one, another third of that is going to get packed up by the end of the day. And then the last of what will need to be packed up is the actual altars. Um, so those altars are not going to be, all of my altars right now are active. Um, and as they, um, stop being active, as the flames go out, as the different things on those altars are done, that's when I'll start dismantling those altars and packing those up so the most major thing I'm going to be left to do here is with my spirit room but even that's part of the way packed up um so I'm feeling really good I'm feeling really anxious I'm feeling I'm not really feeling super nervous I am feeling a bit anxious but I'm not feeling super nervous um I have divined on this move I have thrown cards on it I've consulted the spirits and this is what I'm supposed to do. This is absolutely what I'm supposed to do. I'm proud of myself. Major change is something that I don't uh, actually handle well, traditionally, um, because major change growing up uh, was always violent or it was always accompanied by crazy circumstances or it was never good. Change for me growing up, it was never a good thing. It was absolutely never a good thing. Um, it was always dramatic. It was always hurtful in some way, shape, or form. So, um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. I've been working on that, dealing with change better for years. I've been healing around that. And I'm actually so much better with that. I'm proud of myself. I haven't done, I haven't been disassociating. I've been 
you know, slowly and surely getting my stuff together. So um, I'm proud of the way I've handled this. And I, and I can also say, even though I'm proud of myself, there's ways that I could have handled this change better. Um, I was not super communicative with my friends about me leaving. Some of my friends, some of my friends have known for a while and some of my friends didn't know. Um, and I had a, I had a lot of, um, things from my past that were hindering me from really communicating fully uh, to my friends about what was going, some of my friends about what was going on with me. And that is literally just, you know, a symptom of surviving all the things that I've survived. But we're here, we're queer, and we're moving. At this point in the game, all of my people know. Everybody who's important to me knows that I'm leaving the state. Um, yeah, so this is, this is wild, this is wild. I, definitely for me in Colorado, it's definitely a see you later type of situation. I have business here. I have artistic business. There is an art project that I've been working on for the past five years of my life that I'm going to continue to work on and finish in this next year. I have community business. There is a, I've been working with a sister friend of mine who's a healer around a certain plant medicine. So we're going to be, I'm going to continue my study with that plant, particular plant medicine and doing ceremony with it so I can bring that healing medicine to my people. Um, and I have this business here. There's a brick and mortar business that I'm looking to open up in the next uh, three to four years, hopefully more closer to the three in space, three year space. And I want that business here. So I definitely will be traveling back and forth to Denver. I have family here, like chosen family here. So it is a de it's definitely a see you later situation. Um, and even when I land in Ohio, I'm looking forward to getting settled. I'm looking forward to uh, starting my life there, but I'm also going to be doing a fair amount of traveling. Y'all on the East Coast especially, y'all are going to see me a lot during the spring, during the summer, like, and the South roundabout. Y'all going to see me a lot this spring, this summer, and into the fall. Um, I think I'll be hitting out the West Coast up more closer to next winter. Uh, but, like, the East Coast and the Southern States are going to see a lot of me starting next, next uh, spring and into the summer. I've got a lot of business out there, so... I'm looking forward to moving. Uh, the closer I get, the more emotional I am. Definitely. I'm leaving my home. I'm leaving my home, but this is for the best, you know. Me moving is a leveling up. This is about leveling up financially, emotionally, spiritually, business-wise. All of the ways I'm looking to just level up. I'm looking to level up and improve my life. So I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so what's on the agenda for today? Well, I am moving a couch, this couch that's right here. This couch is not gonna be here by the end of the night. I also have a shelf that's, that my porch is right there. So I have a shelf, an outdoor shelf, but that's gonna get moved out today. And I also have a one of the shelves in my altar, not shelves, but one of the desks in my altar room that was a formal altar. It was my plant and crystal altar. That's gonna get moved today. That's the I'm rehoming all three of those to uh, my homegirl space. So um, yeah, it's this is this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Uh, this is it. I this is it. I have changed bank information. Like I my change of address is in, honey child. It's time to go. So um, I'm so grateful for this apartment. Maybe after I get settled, I'll tell you a little bit of what this apartment means to me, what this place means to me, but I'm grateful. I walked into this house a completely different person. I wasn't a broken person, but I was at ground zero. I had just got out of a real intensive situation. I was absolutely triggered. Um, I had done a lot of healing in that situation, but I was left in a really raw space. Um, I came to this house, like I said, I wasn't a broken thing, but I was very much a depleted thing. I was very much at the end of my rope, um, and I didn't have anything to give. And these walls helped me to rebuild myself. They helped me to heal myself. They helped me to, replay, to repair and replenish myself, and I'm grateful. This apartment has been an amazing space for me. And I've shared this apartment with two people. I currently live alone, but I have lived here with two different people. Um, you know, my first roommate, this was her apartment at first, a good friend of mine. Uh, this was her apartment at first. And her roommate moved out and uh, I moved in. And that was such a beautiful time. 
it was such a healing time and space um and then she moved out and uh another friend of mine moved in and the time that we spent together he and i did so much growing in this space he and i did so much healing in this space so i'm grateful you know and whoever comes behind me in this apartment congratulations because you have got a house that's going to support you in all of the ways Fun fact about where I'm living, this is an old building. And so, um, in like, I think last year, I talked about this on a couple videos last year, but um, old buildings hold energy. And uh, many of these apartments are portals. And because a lot of people don't end up cleaning their energy out or, you know, they don't, they're not good. They leave residual energy around here. Um, so the apartment above me acted as a portal for a very long time. And for years, anybody who moved in there, it got violent in that apartment. It got violent. It just, it didn't matter. The most peaceful people would move into that apartment. And within two months, they would lose their ever-loving mind. And I identified very quickly that that place was a portal. <laughs> the last time I finally went to my landlord and was like, look, I don't know what you believe in, but I'm going to tell you this. I can tell that every tenant that goes up there you have a problem with. And she was like, yes yes and I was like it's not the tenants it's the house I was like it's the walls the I was like the last people who moved out because I had a lot of issues with them they were super violent I had to stop a couple situations I had to go up there and quit stop motherfuckers from beating each other up um because it just was getting really ridiculous uh so the last couple that was volatile like that I was like please tell me when they leave um when that apartment when you fix it up when you do all that I want to come in I'm a, I'm a whole witch you know I I'm a healer let me cleanse that apartment. I'm going to even do it for you for free. I'm not even going to charge you. She was like, okay, do it. I went up there and yes, it was a freaking portal. It was like American Horror Story, the murder house. That's what that was up there. That's what that, that type of thing is real. I went up there and I busted out all the tools, honey. Okay. I did. I banished all the demons. I kicked out everything. I cleansed that place from top to bottom. And they haven't had a problem since. They've had two people. They've had two people, two different or two two different tenants. Two to three. Two different tenants, I think, though. I think it's two who've moved up there since then and no problems whatsoever. No problems whatsoever. So, um, I say that to say I'm going to be cleaning out all of my energy when I leave here. I will not leave any of my personal residual energy, the, the energy of my former roommates. That's going to get cleansed before I go. However, I know that what has been absorbed into these walls because of how I've been living and how my roommates were living is a bunch of healing. So whoever gets this particular apartment, get ready. Okay. I hope you're ready to heal at your core. I hope you're ready to change your life. <laughs> I hope you're ready to go for your dreams, your goals. I hope you're ready to confront your family stuff because this is what we did in this house. In this house, we healed. In this house, we confronted generation. We broke generational cycles. We confronted generational curses. We did that in this house. So even though my personal residual energy is not going to be left here, I do know that that good energy is going to be left here. So congratulations to whoever this is coming behind me, baby. Congratulations. And on that note, I talked long enough. I talked long enough. It is time for me to get in the shower. It is time for me to make some phone calls. Uh, I need to put a couple things in some bins. Um, and then we're going, I'm gonna take you. The next time you see me, we're gonna be out and about uh, on our way to get a backpack and on our way to secure uh, the, the moving van. I'm going to be going to the U-Haul space to secure that van. So, or not the van, but you know, the truck. The truck the truck all right y'all let's do this what's up everybody and just like that we're back and i'm no longer crusty rusty and dusty baby i clean up well i took a shower i smell good i look good but also very relaxed and functional hello we got things to do we have things to do change your plans Change up plans, change your plans, change your plans. I told you earlier that I was going to take you on two errands. That's a lie. I'm going to take you on one. I went ahead and 
booked my U-Haul, my U-Haul, uh, via, uh, the internet. Technology is a wonderful thing. Um, I thought I was gonna have to go in because human error, I made a mistake yesterday in how I was filling it out and it just didn't feel right. So I didn't book it and then today I went back over the application and like, I saw what I did wrong. Now everything is just fine. Um, so we're all good there. But I am gonna take you to go to Target with me. This is not sponsored because I do need a bag uh, to pack away some things. Before I do that though, let me say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to the lovely people who got me something from my wish list. You know the title of this is thank you and all that good stuff. So I wanna make sure I shout you out. I am not gonna do a long video, thank you video for a while about the wish list stuff. Uh, but I did wanna make sure that the people are acknowledged for getting me stuff. So first and foremost, one of you got me this really cute shark purse that I love baby shark do 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 mama shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark ha uh, I love this I love this I love this yes it's a purse and this is where you get into the purse uh, and of course we've got the straps in here so I adore this purse so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and last but not least this right here the comedic tarot okay i took off the, the the wrapping but i did not i just took a peek i haven't taken it i took a peek and was like oh wait let me let me do the rest of this on camera first and foremost it looks so freaking amazing the book uh, i mean the cards the cards i love you know i love a gilded i love me a gilded tarot deck so it looks like this might be excuse me gilded it might be gold around the edges when you open it up so that is first off how that how that deck looks. It I'm sold already. You know I'm gonna do a tarot review. You know I'm gonna do a tarot review. But I'm gonna already tell you it comes. It already comes with a bag. It already comes with a bag. It already comes with a bag. First and foremost, marketing. Hello, marketing. Hello. But this is a very effective. And then it's got a book. Now y'all know how I love a good book. You know how I love a good book. So I am very excited to crack this open. This is what this book looks like. So I'm super excited to crack this open. I'm going to keep this in this book for now. Um, and so y'all will see that later. This did, the first, the shark purse did not come with a thank you card uh, because I believe this came right from the manufacturer. But this one did, the Comedic Tarot did. So it said, oh, what is this, a uh, piece of whatever. A gift for you. Thank you for all you do and for all of those you have helped on their healing journey. I have learned so much from you. Thank you from Leah W. Oh my God, Miss Leah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you, darling. I'm working hard not to cry during these videos. I know I'm gonna have, there's gonna be enough of that, especially during Vlogmas. <laughs> You're gonna see enough videos <laughs> where I'm emotional. And I am not ashamed of it. I welcome those moments and times in my life and I appreciate being able to share with y'all. I just don't wanna do it every video because it's a lot. It takes a lot out of me. Um, so if you notice my energy dips during these, these few of these videos, it's because this is emotional and not in a bad way. Moving is, this move is a good, it's a good move. It's a good move in every way. I'll tell you what, I am, am not doing any, um, going away parties or anything right now. I'm very quietly meeting with a few people before I go. But I, I'm not gonna lay eyes on a bunch of people before I go um, because it just, that, just, that doesn't feel like the way for me. I am, and people know, I'm not being secretive that I'm leaving, people know. People really don't know when though. They know I'm leaving in December. Um, but this, to leave quietly feels like, or to leave softly, because I'm not leaving necessarily quietly, but I'm leaving softly. To leave softly feels good. Um, I'm gonna be back here in a matter of a couple of months. I have business out here. I have art business, community business, plant business. I have business out here. Uh, and I, and I, I will definitely have a whole event, masks up, of course, uh, but I will definitely have a whole event in Denver to officially say goodbye and to lay eyes on people. But um, this feels right for me. Um, I'm neurodivergent and we know that this is something that I am really embracing and, and, and integrating into my life, you know, you know, if you've been with me on several platforms, you can see this journey, but, um, leaving this way works for me. Um, it works for me. 
it works for me. This is a huge change in my life and it's already overwhelming in a lot of different shapes, forms, and capacities. So leaving this way helps me to process the best way uh, so that I can set myself up for success when I, when I go there. And I look forward to be able to come back when I'm settled there um, and I, the feelings won't be so overwhelming. I can just process and flow. Um, so it'll be good to see a bunch of people and have my official goodbye in a couple months. But um, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is how I'm doing it now. So so far the process has been smooth. Honestly, I can tell you the process has been smooth. I started packing a, a little while ago. Um, this is why I'm in a good place with my packing. There's still some. There's little things to do. Like I have to back up my setup. I'm gonna film uh, one more setup before I uh, pass. You know, pack that up. Um, but yeah, so. Great times, people. Thank you to the people who gift me things. Oh my God, that's bittersweet. That's probably gonna be the last thing I get here. It's probably gonna be, these are probably the last things I get. So thank you for that. And yeah, I have an evening of uh, packing, of running these errands. Uh, I plan on stepping out for a bit so I can see some people, but um, it's gonna be a good evening. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a good evening. It's gonna be, it's already a good day. It's a good life. Oh my God, I am leaving. Mm -mm -mm. What a time to be alive. This Sunday's reading is all up in my head. Uh, this, If you were there, you were there. If you weren't there, the video is posted. Go get your life because everybody present, we got our lives. I'm telling you, that reading is present all over during up this week. And I actually appreciate the guidance that that gave me and the rest of us and whoever would receive guidance from it. Okay. Let me go get one of my last Ramune from my refrigerator as a reward and uh, get to getting, get to getting. We're on a mission to get a bag. Let's go get a bag. What's up everybody? I'm currently in the parking lot of Le Target. Target. Target Lay Target. Just got out of a evening shopping session. I did not get the bag that I came looking for, but I got what I actually needed. You know, sometimes you go to Target and you go looking for certain things and you find something better. And that's what happened tonight, okay? I went looking for a bag, but I ended up coming back with a bin. I came back with a bin that is actually going to serve my needs a lot better. So I've got the bin that is going to help me uh, pack up all my adult toys, my glass adult toys. And I also got a couple of things that I needed um, to close out my time here uh, in Denver and to help me transition into my new space in Ohio so I'm feeling really good I am now on my way to get some food I need to eat I have eaten today but I need to eat again um, I haven't eaten in a long time so I'm gonna go ahead and get some food and then just spend the rest of my night packing and organizing I wanted to touch base with some people tonight I wanted to like hug folks and hang out but it is what it is I'm not able to do that I'm not able to do that however it's still good. It's still good. I'm still happy that I'm doing everything that I'm doing and everything is on point. So, thank you for hanging out with me today. Most of this was at my house. I thought I was going to be moving a lot more and that was a plan, but spirit had things happen the way it happened. And I'm actually glad everything happened the way it happened today. I actually got a lot of things done, but I didn't get to share those things with you because so much of that had to do with my online presence and then my personal banking and finance information. And I'm not sharing that with y'all. However, thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for allowing me to share a part of my process with you. Oh my God, you guys. In a couple of days, I'm moving to another state. In a couple of days, I'm moving to another state. I have officially uprooted my life. I live somewhere else. <laughs> In two weeks, after this video, I'm gonna be in a different place. <laughs> and I am ecstatic about it, and I'm happy about it, and I'm anxious, I'm a bit nervous, but all in all, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know Ohio isn't going to be where I stay forever. It's the perfect place for me right now. And I'm going to luxuriate in that process. I'm going to 
fold into that process, I'm going to appreciate that process and lean in. And that's that on that. Thank you for attending this vlog vlogmas with me. Vlogmas. I don't know what I was about to say before that, but I messed it up. Anyway, thank you for attending this vlogmas. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you for uh, coming with me on this journey. And thank you for listening to my inner thoughts. This vlog was not really about y'all. It was about me. It was about, <laughs> you know, sometimes my vlogs are about us. Sometimes my vlogs are about you. Uh, but sometimes this vlog was about me. I spent this whole entire vlog processing my feelings about moving. So thank y'all for holding space for me and listening to that and uh, uplifting my process. And on that note, I'm going to let y'all go. It's time for me to go get some food. It's time for me to continue packing. I don't feel like filming during that process. So this is where we end this vlog. I'm freaking hungry <laughs> so i'm going to go and tend to attend to that i'm gonna get some food i'm going to spend uh the next few hours packing up and just making sure my plans are well made and things are going the way they need to i am happy to be moving i'm sad to be moving i'm anxious i'm nervous and i'm also so excited <laughs> i feel all the things I feel all the things. I'm realizing in this moment that this is, yeah, when I'm, this is the last moment that I'm probably going to come to this Target. This is my neighborhood Target. It's nowhere near my neighborhood. It's kind of, sort of, it's kind of, sort of by my neighborhood, but also not super near my neighborhood. But this is my neighborhood Target. I'm not going to come here anymore as a resident. I plan on visiting Denver, Colorado because I still got business here. I still got business here. I have financial business. Uh, I have artistic business and I have community business here. So I still have business here. So Colorado is going to see me quite soon. But I'm not going to come back to this place as a resident. So all the milestones, all the milestones. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to share these insider moments with you. I'm so anxious. And I'm so excited. And I'm so, I'm a, I'm a little bit scared. Not a lot of it, but I'm a little bit scared, but I'm also very confident in myself and my spiritual team. This move is about to be everything in all the good ways, and it's going to challenge me in every way I need it to challenge me, and I'm excited! And I'm just, I'm happy to share part of this process with you, so... Alright, you guys, let me go get some food, and let me spend the rest of this night packing! And preparing to leave this life in Colorado. Happy Vlogmas. I don't even know what day I'm on. It's what what day is this? Where's my phone? I don't even know. I don't know. I'm on I'm on day whatever. But happy Vlogmas to you. Happy end of 2021. Goodbye, Denver, Colorado. Goodbye, 2021. Hello, Ohio. Hello, 2022. Hello, hello, hello. And I just grabbed my phone. It's the day. It's four, It's the 14th. So happy Vlogmas Day 14 to you. And on that note, I'm going to let y'all go. And I'm going to see you soon. God willing. Just in case no one has told you today, you are amazing. You are wonderful. And thank you so much for surviving everything you have survived. And on that note. If you like what I'm doing. If you like what you see. If you're feeling any of this. If you're feeling any of me. Make sure you hit that what what like button. That who who. Subscribe button. That where where notifications button so you can keep up with all of my shenanigans and happenings and all the goings ons and things. And I'll see you, God willing, in the next video. Peace. So I realize that I just ended the video, but I am coming to pick up food from a Denver State Fall. This right here is on Colfax and Grant, and I am coming to the amazing Shish Kebab. So if you are ever in Denver, Colorado, please come check out this establishment. This has been here for years, and it's a family-owned establishment. I have been coming to this place for so long, and they serve the best Arab Lebanese food. I could not end this video without shouting out this place. Please, please, please. 1503, what is this? Grant? Yes. Colfax and Grant. 1503, the Shish Kebab place 
Oh my god, you guys, it's so fucking good.